In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a quick halftone effect. Halftone is uh, what's in the background right here. It's a good way to give an image a lot of depth and just more texture. Uh, and it's just kind of a, a fun effect. Uh, there's a couple good tutorials online. Photoshop Labs, they have a good tutorial. Lunar Eclipse. Lunar Eclipse shows you how to make this really cool edge, uh, which is similar to what we're going to do. We're going to do this... Uh, in a, in a full grain across the screen like we have it here instead of the, the outline of a shape. So we're just going to minimize this. Let's create a new file. Let's view this in actual pixels so we can see the whole thing. So we want uh, the dark brown to be the circles and we want the light brown to be the background. So let's go ahead and make the background light brown. Let's make a new layer so we can uh, add the dark brown. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is we need to make a gradient. Uh, usually most most people will use uh, this gradient, which is a foreground to background. Uh, that's not the gradient we want to use. We actually want to use foreground to transparent. Um, so we just put the gradient down. So now we have the, the dark color over here and the light color over here. As you can see though, what we put down is is mostly mostly transparent, and we're actually going to uh, select uh, these pixels, uh, including their transparency, to add an effect to it. Uh, so we need to make a selection. We we need to not use uh, either the marquee tool or uh, the quick uh, the magic wand tool uh, because these don't select pixels. Uh, in transparency. It'll select transparent pixels, but it'll select them as if they were uh, fully op opaque. So we don't we don't want the magic wand or the marquee tool. What we, what we want to do is we want to hold control and we want to click down this little button right here in the er, in the layer, this little image of what are of what is in the layer. Um, so it should change how uh, the, the marquee is, uh, but actually it's selecting a gradient uh, of opacity, so that way uh, we can affect things to a different degree. Uh, so now we need to go into uh, quick mask mode, uh, which we can do either by clicking this button here, right now we're in standard mode, uh, so we can either click quick, ma quick mask mode, or we can hit the Q button. The red shows uh, the alpha transparency, and the, the more red, the more transparent uh, the the selection is. This is just kind of a different way of representing the selection. So now what we need to do is we need to apply our effect to this. So we need to go to Filter. We need to go to Pixely and Color Halftone. Uh, we're actually not going to create a color halftone. We're just going to create a halftone selection. Uh, so the only part of this dialog we need to know or, or use is the max radius, uh, which selects the maximum radius of the, the circles. Um, I like uh, a fairly large image uh, pixel size. Uh, depending on your resolution and what size halftone you want in the background, uh, you can vary the size. So th you can actually play around with this a lot. So right off the bat, this this is exactly the effect we want. Um, so now we just need to get this from the quick mask, which is the the red, which is really just a selection uh, to an actual color. So by hitting Q or by uh, clicking a standard mode down here, um, we get a selection. Uh, but if we turn off the, the gradient, so we just have the selection and we create a new layer, if we fill if we fill this with our, our dark brown, it's actually not exactly what we want. We, what we actually just filled was uh, what we were intending to be the background. We actually want the dots to be uh, the dark brown. Uh, so if we just uh, control Z and undo that, and go to uh, select and inverse, invert to invert the selection. We now can fill it and get the the brown dots uh, to to show up correctly. Uh, this is actually going in the opposite direction uh, than what we were intending. Uh, so you can just do a uh, free transform and flip that around 180. Just kind of snap that into place. And there you go. That's a half tone. Uh, there's a lot you can do do with this to play around. Uh, there's a lot of different effects you can get. Uh, but this is a really good start. Uh, so good luck.